In this video, I'm going to go through a crank test for slap tears or slap lesions. So this test is for slap tears. It's going to be good for shoulder pain patients who have problems with instability, clicking, clunking, um, feelings like of dislocation, previous trauma, and those who are not getting better with uh, rehab after a traumatic dislocation or traumatic shoulder injury. Um, so to perform the test, we're going to go through that in a second. Some studies state that the sensitivity of this test is 46% and the specificity is 72%. Now, again, usually with the slap tears, you want to do a cluster of tests together to get a much higher um, reliability of finding that condition. And there's, those clusters are on the channel as well, so please check those out. So to perform this test, what we're going to do is we're going to take the patient from in supine line, first of all, take them up into 160 degrees of elevation. I'm going to do a close up of this, and this should be alongside the video as we go. Then what we want to do is take the, um, your hand on the forearm. You want to create an ax axial load into the um, shoulder. So I'm compressing through the humerus into the shoulder. The shoulder also wants to be in the scapular plane. So I'm creating that load and then I'm going to internally and externally rotate the shoulder with the attempt to compress and pinch that torn labrum. So a positive test for this test would be pain and familiar symptoms, potentially feelings of clicking, clunking and instability whilst doing the test. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please give us a like and a subscribe, plus hit the bell icon and that way you will be notified when any more of these videos are coming out and I will see you next time.